welcome to Ultimate Survival Gear. Today, as you guys can see, I have yet again something from Colombia. Love that brand. Let's open up the box and see what we got. Because these are, yet again, Colombia Fairbanks. And as you can see, these are in their low configuration. And let me tell you guys, I have done a review of Columbia Fairbanks before, their mid-size version. And I was super impressed with that hiking boot. Absolutely fantastic comfort, super lightweight, excellent outsole. And now they have it in low configuration. I cannot tell you how happy I am about these. And these are no exception. Super comfortable, even more lightweight, excellent outsole, just Fantastic, fantastic shoe. But if you are really interested in buying it, I recommend sticking around to watch the whole review because this is not just a regular hiking shoe review. No, this review is specifically for my ultimate survival shoe section. Basically, if you were involved in some kind of survival situation, maybe you were hiking out in the park, everything was great, and then something bad happened. I don't know, whatever. Bears started chasing you gang started chasing you uh, government started chasing I don't know somebody started chasing you somebody started shooting at you somebody started, started bombing you I don't, <laughs> I don't know you think of your survival situation and these are the shoes that you were wearing would this be good for your survival or would they get you killed well how do we make the judgment we you make the judgment based on 8 different criteria let the review begin with criteria number 1 Comfort level, yes, one of the more important ones. And in order to test the comfort level of all the shoes and boots that I review on this channel, I do a three mile run, non-stop, and then a five mile walk, again, non-stop, no pauses in between. And that kind of gives me a very, very good uh, baseline to judge all of the reviews, you know, all of the shoes and boots that I review on this channel equally. And like I said, absolutely fantastic comfort level here and there are a few factors that contribute to the comfort level let's start with the first one of course the weight i have my scale over here this is size 10 now by my internal weight which doesn't always work uh scale i would say this is about 13 to 14 ounce let's see how close i am wow actually not too shabby 13 point one, 13.1, absolutely fantastic weight. Honestly, I have to say Columbia did an excellent job on uh, saving the weight. Uh, obviously, you can imagine how it can contribute to, you know, you being super comfortable running for extended periods of time, walking for extended periods of time. Very, very good weight. Now, there's another thing that contributes to the comfort level is the outsole. And let me uh, get this out of here so I can show you how flexible the outsole is. Check this out. This is very, very impressive. So you can actually run properly in these shoes without absolutely any problems at all. Now, moving further, we got our inner sole and I'm gonna take it out so I can show it to you. Now, here we go. Nothing crazy over here, but I have to say very nice and defined heel bed, as you can see. Decent R support, very, very nice R support. And as you can see, there are ventilation pores throughout most of the inner soles so that you have some breathability. Overall, whenever it comes to cushioning, pretty good. But once you remove this, it's going straight into the midsole. Keep that in mind. Overall, the outsole and midsole are pretty soft. So you have a very, very good impact protection there. Now, talking about the padding, we, you have some padding in the shaft, some padding in the heel. The tongue is very nicely padded and throughout the whole shoe, you have a super nice, super comfortable fabric is just absolutely fantastic on this shoe. And uh, even here, that is kind of a reinforcement a little bit. We will talk about it later in protection. Still, even here from the inside, it feels nice and soft. So comfort level, absolutely fantastic job, Columbia. Now let's move on to the criteria number two, proofing and protection. Proofing wise, these are not waterproof. And honestly, I don't really care for waterproof shoes. Why? Because there's just not enough clearance for 
you know, a decent waterproofing. A little bit of a splash, you get water inside and now you're wet. So not much point of the waterproofing, right? But at the same time, whenever it's a non-waterproofing boot or shoe and you get the water inside, they will dry up quicker than waterproof shoes. Why? Because naturally they're more breathable, okay? So it's kind of like compromise one for one which one you are more comfortable with whenever it comes to protection like i said there is this reinforcement right here pretty good definitely helps with some mild you know being on the rocks pretty decent uh, overall though shoe is very soft keep in mind obviously no protection in the ankles the heel is fairly soft and then you have decent amount of protection from the outsole because this rubber is actually pretty good quality but we will talk about the outsole later let's move on to the criteria number three quality and the design features now quality wise Columbia they do pretty good job honestly I don't think, I mean, I reviewed so much stuff from Columbia already on this channel. Check it out. I have a separate play playlist for the whole Columbia stuff. But I don't think I really had anything that I was like, no, this is a disaster. This is not good from Columbia, at least yet. And you can check out the reviews. I always put the link for Amazon in the description below. Check it out. There are plenty of reviews for these specific shoes and also for Fairbanks boots. If you want to see more reviews, those are super popular. And I mean, I see, I, I see why they're 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 excellent, excellent boots, and the, the shoes are excellent too, in my opinion. Now, whenever it comes to design feature, usually here I talk about the lacing system. Here, as you can see, the lacing system is very basic, nothing crazy. You have very nice, thick, round strings. I like that stuff like that instead of having flat ones. I do prefer the round ones. And then you can see that there are four. Um, hooks fabric hooks going here and then you have one ring uh, at the top one pair uh, of rings at the very top no open hooks uh which is fine because it's a shoe it's it's not a mid-size boot or anything like that so that's completely fine okay so let's move on to the criteria number four now outsole traction and stability so whenever i do my running and my walking i do it on a variety of different surfaces asphalt tarmac wet grass dry grass wet sand dry sand uh rocky road trail surface marble tile rubber just a bunch of stuff really i try to test them on everything and this performs very well on everything the aggression is pretty decent i wish that the rubber was just a little bit harder would be a little bit better in my opinion but again you're you're saving quite quite a lot of money on with buying a shoe from columbia instead of buying a shoe from you know something with vibram outsole for example so you kind of it might be worth it especially for beginner hikers you know if you want to get more in the outdoors do more hiking more backpacking camping this might be a pretty good option to start with so that you don't have to spend a bank but we'll talk about the price later overall though the outsole is very very good very nice pattern as you can see it's pretty flat but still there's a nice amount of aggression to give you a good hold on slippery stuff like wet grass and at the same time if you're using these just as a regular city shoes the pattern is not aggressive at all so you're not gonna feel weird walking over you know normal like pavement and, and stuff you know <laughs> so excellent excellent job um, Columbia now let's move on to the criteria number five temperature obviously no point to talk about winter this is not insulated this is not waterproof forget about winter but as a three seasoned hiking shoe excellent choice really hard to uh, go wrong let's talk about the criteria number six really quickly sizing yes these are true to the size no problems there at all usually i recommend getting half size bigger than your normal shoe size so that you have a little bit of extra space in the toe box with these you really don't need to because the toe box is fairly soft but it's up to you if you want some extra comfort you can if you want some more kind of control then you probably should get your normal regular shoe size let's move on to the criteria number seven now bounce application so if this really was your survival shoe not just a regular hiking shoe but really like a combat tactical situation something serious you're surviving you had to run you had to fight you had to climb i don't know would this be good i think it's a fantastic option if you think about the shoe whenever it comes to survival situation some people prefer boots personally i would go with a mid-size for my you know tactical combat situations but there is an advantage of having a shoe and i'll explain why here it's because look at this i mean this looks like a really cool um stylish you know fashion sneaker basically something that you can wear every day really anywhere you want grocery store you'll look fine 
to your job, you look fine. To, I don't know, date, you will look fine. You're not going to look weird. This is looks just like a regular shoe. But at the same time, this regular shoe has the capability of you going through different terrains and, and handling actually pretty good. Uh, this shoe has capability of giving you enough comfort to keep on moving uh, for extended periods of time, getting to the safety. So, and at the same time, you're wearing it all the time, right? Like, for example, let's say if I have this very good survival tactical boot, right? That is midsize and blah, blah, blah. Chances are I'm not wearing that every single day everywhere I go. It probably is sitting in my house somewhere on the, you know, in the shoe cabinet and that's it. So for me, in order to have that, if something bad happens, I have to come back home, I have to change and now I'm wearing it. Something like this will always have the advantage because yes, maybe it doesn't have as much protection, maybe it doesn't have some kind of features of a mid-sized boot, but you are wearing it on a daily basis. So most likely you will end up with this and not some, you know, classic shoe that I usually wear on a daily basis, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. But I think that is a really, really good option whenever it comes to stuff like that. And let's move on, let's finish up this review with criteria number eight, price. Around $80, a little bit cheaper, a little bit more expensive, depending on the price, depending on the size, depending on the time. Right now they have a pretty good deal. Check out Amazon, link is in the description below, like I said. $80 is very, very good, I think, for the quality that you're getting, for the comfort, for the outsole that you're getting, it's a really good price. Now, if you're looking at comparable brands in the same kind of style, in the same, you know, basically shoe configuration, you're, you know, if you look in Salomon, if you're looking La Sportiva, now you're getting in, you know, over $100, $120 category. At 80 bucks, this might be very appealing, especially like I said in the beginning of this review for a beginner, hiker, outdoor enthusiast, if you're just now getting into it. And that's how I started, you know, a few years ago when I started doing all my outdoor stuff. I got in with the Columbia boots and I still have them and they're still great. I upgraded many times since then just to push further and do more things. But that Columbia boot, you know, if I, if I need to go out and do like regular mild hiking, it will still be great. It's, it's still in a great condition. So this is a great entry level hiking shoe. I, I think really hard to go wrong. And at the same time, a great option for your survival. So let me know in the comments below guys, what do you think about this review? What do you think about the shoe? If you have any requests for reviews, drop them in the comments below and I will be happy to address them. As always, thank you very much for watching guys. God bless you all. This was Ultimate Survival Gear and I'll see you guys in the next video.